Section four here is covalent bonding and what we call orbital overlap. And this is gonna lead us into the hybridization in the next section. Okay, so the first one we'll look at here is valence bond theory. And VSCPR is a good model for predicting the shapes of molecules, but it does not tell you why a bond exists between the atoms. So we're gonna look at what we call valence bond theory and how that gives us a better picture of why atoms actually bond. So this is actually before this title here. And on the back, on the top of page three, you will see what you need to put now. Okay, valence bond theory is something that uses atomic orbitals. And remember, those are the SPDFs that we looked at in chapter um, six. Uses atomic bond orbitals, and this shows how they mix together. And these overlaps of these atomic orbitals are going to be what we have for our bonds between atoms. So the overlap of atomic orbitals forms a covalent bond. So let's look at an example. We see here the coming together of two hydrogen atoms. Okay, We have two 1s orbitals that overlap, and the electron density is concentrated between your nuclei. So now we've got two hydrogens, which are in essence just each a 1s, they meet when they want to bond, so we're going to form an H, H bond, okay, and the electrons overlap. So you have two 1s orbitals that overlap, and your electron density is in a concentrated in the middle, this section right there, okay? If we have an HCl for hydrochloric acid, okay, um, you have a 1s overlapping on the hydrogen with a 3p of your chlorine. So that right there is our bond, and that's how you show the overlap. If a chlorine-chlorine bond, we show the overlap of the orbitals right here, and that's where our bond for that is. So the electrons are attracted to both your nuclei and holds the bond together, because you've got negatives here in the middle that are concentrated there. So the negatives here are attracted to both positive centers and it keeps it there together to form your bond. Now with these orbital overlaps, there is always an optimum distance between two bonded nuclei in any covalent bond. And the potential energy of your system changes as the two H atoms get closer together or further apart. Okay, when we look at this picture, all right, the energy is pretty much zero when they are too far apart to bond. This means they really don't feel any attraction between one another. They're too far apart, okay? They don't attract, they don't repel. Now, as your distance between the molecules gets more, that's why then the energy gets bigger. So we've got a negative energy, and my energy increases here. And we have more and more energy in this system. Things apart are a higher energy than things bonded together. Remember, bonded atoms are lower energy and are more stable, stronger, harder to break. So as we notice here, as our distance decreases, okay, they get closer and closer together, our energy goes way, way down. So as your distance between your atoms goes down, your energy, and I always do energy as NRG, goes down. Okay, this means now I've got a really low energy, so right here at this 0.74 angstroms is actually the distance of this bond length. That is the... Um, strongest time for that bond, okay? Now, if we get here, now they're gonna get too close together, and notice how the energy is way, way, way up. That's because they are too close up here, and you feel the positive, positive nuclei repulsion. They're too close together, they don't want to get any closer, they don't want to bond. This right here is your optimum bond distance because it is the lowest energy and the strongest one. Practice, okay, if you can put pressure on the hydrogen molecule so its bond length decrease, would its bond strength increase or decrease? Well, as we looked at that chart, okay, if you wanted to get them closer and closer together, that bond length gets smaller and smaller and smaller, your energy would skyrocket. That's what I was just saying there at the end. They get too close together and it's not an optimum distance anymore.